Britain's last three decimals were dated 1970, that's 50 years ago, and one of those coins was the 1970 halfpenny, the last pre-decimal halfpenny. As the name suggests, it was worth half a penny, and there were 480 of them to the pound. While the halfpenny itself didn't make the jump into the decimal era, half a pre-decimal penny was worth around 21 one-hundredths of a new decimal penny, the name at least did continue with the new halfpenny, the smallest of the decimals. However, that too had a short life. It was first minted in 1971 and last minted in 1984, by which time its purchasing power was virtually nil. There were sporadic issues of halfpenny coins in the 9th century AD, but in the 250 years from the reign of Edgar to that of Henry III, all monarchs bar one only issued penny coins. The economic need for smaller coin was met by cutting a penny in two to achieve two halfpennies. This practice was so commonplace that the penny itself featured a cross as part of its design to make it easier to get an accurate cut. From the early 1200s most monarchs produced halfpennies but only ever in small numbers. It wasn't a popular coin, it was a tiny silver coin and prone to being lost. Then in the reign of Charles II in the year 1672 a major innovation took place when it was decided to produce the halfpenny in copper and with copper being cheaper than silver it could be made a much larger coin. The next innovation came in the reign of King George III when it was minted using steam powered presses to a much higher level of quality. The early copper issues of halfpenny were around 25 to 30 millimetres in diameter and weighed between 9 and 12 grams. The precise size and weight varied based on the world copper price at the time. The recoinage in 1816 did away with all that, and until 1860, the halfpenny was fairly consistently produced at around 28 millimetres diameter and between 9.1 and 9.5 grams in weight. In 1860, soft copper was replaced by hardier bronze, and the halfpenny took a weight drop to between 5.5 and 5.8 grams and 25 millimetres diameter and that's the size it retained right until decimal changeover. The halfpenny was produced in large quantities indeed so there are very few rarities in the series but it's worth mentioning the very last one minted with the date 1970. The last halfpenny put into circulation was dated 1967 and helped along by people going into their bank and buying a five pound face value bag as a souvenir, the mintage of that last issue was an incredible 145 million coins. By comparison, the very last issue dated 1970, which was only released to collectors, had a mintage of only around three quarters of a million coins. We hope you've enjoyed this look at the last predecimal halfpenny.